Of course, this uh, area was used. It's the Naval Live Oaks, part of the Gulf Islands National Seashore. And it was used by the British, I believe, and maybe the Spanish before them, but I know by the British to uh, get lumber for shipbuilding. And uh, these live oaks are all around Florida. This is a beautiful place with really old live oaks. Uh, if you get a chance to visit here, this is a great, great little park. It's got a nice little trail. And I believe I will find plenty of uh, plants to interest you guys uh, in place of my gardening video. Here's an interesting flower. Very beautiful. Obviously, you see a lot of things here that you are not going to see in my house. Last time we came through here, I brought my daughters down here and walked around. Uh, we saw snakes, a lot of spiders, uh, a lot of spiders. Matter of fact, I've already had a web in my face <laughs> as I was walking. That's always fun when you're walking along and all of a sudden the great big spider web hits you in the right between the eyes. Now this talks about the live oaks and how they were used in shipbuilding and how this area um, where they found that these these were perfect for dealing uh, or for building ships and they're rot, it's a rot resistant wood um, and in the 17 and 1800s these were sought after and it said over 2,000 might be used to build one hull um, and so President Adams made this the first federal tree farm in 1828 and uh, they you know cultivated these trees so live oak trees and these are massive if you see these like here's one right here and I want to say that I wish I could get over there next to it so you could see the size of some of these live oaks here and of course they're awesome shade trees and they're beautiful beautiful trees uh, I'll try to get some video of some other live oaks as I go through here but uh, this would be God's garden which is a lot nicer than my garden but look how beautiful that old tree is I wonder how old that tree is and this Guess what kind of tree this massive specimen is? You're not gonna believe it. It's a magnolia tree. <laughs> wow, that is huge. Here's my walking staff. You can see it goes up past my waist. That's the width of that magnolia tree. And here are the spiderweb culprits. My daughter is terrified of spiders. <laughs> and when she came through here, man, she was, I mean, she did not like seeing those spiders. There were big spiders in here. Wow, there's one right there. Above my head. Oh, there it is. That is a nice one. Please don't get on me. Please don't get on me. And we are down here next to the shore, off the trail a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful scenery here. Uh, this is Santa Rosa Sound. And on that side is Santa Rosa Island, which is where Pensacola Beach actually is. Pensacola Beach is not actually in the city of Pensacola. It's out on Santa Rosa Island, and you have to go across a couple of bridges to get out here. And there are some beautiful flowers out here. I'll see if I can get a little closer for you guys there. You can see these. They're really pretty. 
And I'll take some pictures and put them on. Uh, let's see. These little purple guys here. Beautiful. Just lovely little flowers. And a nice view. Yeah, this is one of those trails where uh, you let somebody walk in front of you and you kind of lag behind so they run into the spider webs before you do and you just act all surprised when they run into one. Oh man, you run into a spider web? I can't believe that happened to you. Yeah, that way they kind of clear the way for you. Finally found me a little location where I could walk down the shore here and it's not too sandy and you have a uh, kind of a little trail here. A couple of guys back there behind me going mullet fishing with their nets. Not a fan of the mullet. I'm not talking about the hairstyle, I'm talking about the fish. A lot of people down here like mullet. In Florida, just do not care for mullet at all. But you enjoy all the mullet you want. I'm not gonna eat it. The times I tasted it, I didn't like it. Now here is a nice big live oak for you. Beautiful. Beautiful old tree couple of them here three right together just a tree with plenty of character a couple of them back in there beautiful That was pretty cool, man. Those guys went out there. They got them some mullet, you know, enough to make a meal out of. Um, snapped all their heads off. Threw them out there in the water so they can bleed them. And uh, they're going to take them and eat them. They said they're way better that way when you bleed them. I told them the only time I'd ever ate mullet was in a restaurant. And they said, well, you need to come to my house then because they're a whole lot better than they are when you catch them fresh and you bleed them like that. So, I'll take your word for it. Y'all go ahead and eat all the mullet you want. I won't say nothing bad about you. I'll probably eat things that other people don't like. <laughs> Now, how would you like to be one of those Spaniards that came over here in the 15, 1600s and try to walk through stuff like this in armor? <laughs> used to living in Europe to walk through all of this stuff. You just couldn't have done it. Man, I wonder if they thought this place was so bad. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have to put up any signs through here that say, don't get off the trail. Because you're not going to be getting off this trail. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's the bay. Yeah. 
And here it is. Pensacola Bay. Thank <laughs> you.